hello, good morning, welcome to Sim UK. Uh, hopefully this stream is going to be tip-top, excellent quality for everybody. I have been playing and tweaking with my OBS settings after Jimmy Daly sent me in the right direction. Um, I think every system requires a slightly different setup. And um, yeah, I've, I've made some efforts to uh, try and make the stream as clean and issue free as possible so please do let me know in the comments if there's any issues with the audio any issues with the video if it starts stuttering anything like that because it's very difficult for me to tell from where i'm sat basically so um hello good morning this is dakar 18 a massive shout out and huge thank you to conrad uh, conrad contacted me i think just after christmas and um, asked me if i'd review this game um, and i explained to him that i had contacted the developers Big Moon Entertainment in order to review the game at release and they point blank refused to send me a key, which happens sometimes, quite often, in fact. Um, so I said, you know, I'd love to, but uh, you know, I can't buy, I can't afford to buy every single game that's released uh, just to review it and then never play it again. And the reviews at release on Steam for Dakar 18 were less than positive let's say so good day, um, technically Andrew good day Sim how you doing buddy uh, thanks for joining us um, so the te technically this isn't my first look because I the first look I had was last night I've played uh, the tutorial twice and I've played the first stage of the Dakar rally on rookie now if you know me at all if you know my channel at all I don't do rookie I instantly go hardcore and just try and make it as realistic as possible but this game is actually really demanding doing just fine talk fantastic glad to hear it Andrew uh, let me know how the stream quality is if you if you could that would be great uh, not necessarily straight away, but if you, if you see any issues, audio or video, just let me know. That'd be fantastic. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the Dakar 18 initial reviews were terrible. Uh, handling was awful. <clears throat> my preconceived conception of this game was pretty low. Uh, my expectations weren't that high. But Conrad and his friends are really enthusiastic about Dakar and Dakar 18 and they're trying to um, encourage more people to play the game because they think it's good they think it really ticks a lot of boxes and they just want a lot of people to know that since there's been a lot of patches and updates the updates the game is a lot better um, so Comrade contacted Big Moon Entertainment on my behalf and somehow convinced okay them to send me a key. I've had not tried to Chromecast yet Cool. Uh, okay, Andrew. Nice. I've not considered people watching on iPads and stuff, so uh, yeah, appreciate feedback from you on that as well. N completely new stream settings today, so fingers crossed it's going to be good quality. Um, I think my mic's a bit low today. Apologies if it is. I'll just move it slightly closer to my face. Um, so yeah, he contacted Big Moon Entertainment. Somehow got a key off them. Lord only knows how. Um, and here we are. This is it. This is the game. Now I've got some, I've got, I've got a few concerns around the UI. Um, if you look at the adventure information there, it's kind of difficult to read, and it took me a while to find the quick game option purely because it's kind of difficult to see where it is. And when you flick off them, I mean the rest of them are fine, but that one for me is a bit of an issue. So maybe they just need to put like um, a filtered background overlay over that and you'll be able to see it better. Make the fonts bigger, I don't know. There's lots of options there. But I've seen a few UI related issues. I studied UI at university, so I have some idea of what I'm talking about, but I'm one of those people who basically needs to um, tweak my UI 99 times before it actually works. Some people are instantly natural towards it, other people like me, not so much. But I, I, I do know, you know, I mean, it's just obvious, really, that that isn't perfect. Um, and once you, you sort of had your attention drawn to it, you can't stop seeing that that isn't that easy to read compared to that and that and that and that. 
that one's just a bit needs a bit of tweaking small issue doesn't really impact on the game just an observation that i can't help mentioning so today um i still haven't got a camera set up on the stream i'm trying to get the stream running properly before i do that but we've got an xbox 360 controller we're not using the side side panel for the first time ever um, but we have got the G29 hooked up today. Now, I've played this game using only the Xbox 360 controller so far. So this is all very much experimental. So if I go to devices, it has picked up the wheel. That is a good start. Uh, so let's start the configuration wizard. Steering. Move your steering wheel in any direction. Okay, well I've done it, and then what? Press A button. Gotcha. Center your steering wheel. Turn the steering wheel to the right to the position you find most comfortable. What? Turn the steering wheel to the right to the position you find most comfortable. So I'm thinking, sort of, they're, they're saying your maximum turn to the left. My maximum turn to the right. To continue, press a button on your controller. Okay, pedals. Press and hold the throttle all the way down. Press a button. Release the pedal. Press a button. Press and hold the brake pedal all the way down. Press a button. Release. Press a button. Clutch. Button. Release. Button. To continue, press a button on your controller. Okay, gears. Press the button for sequential gear upshift. I don't really want sequential gears. I want manual gears, but okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. All right. This, I've got to say, quite impressed. I don't have a seventh gear. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I don't have a seventh gear. I've only got a Logitech G29. Um... Hmm. All right, we'll make R2 our seventh gear, and then obviously reverses that. Right, oh my god, set the handbrake to full state. We don't have a handbrake either. I'm going to need a second controller at this rate. Third controller, rather. Um, UK. Handbrake. You becoming a Sandman today? I'm becoming a Sandman, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I am indeed. Yes, Jimmy. I'm becoming a Sandman. Thanks for joining us. Have you played this game, Jimmy? It's quite good, actually, from what I've seen so far. What am I going to use for a handbrake? Let's use R3. Oh, man. S to skip. Yeah, we're gonna have to skip. Absolutely wonderful game. We don't have a handbrake. That's a shame. I want to buy a handbrake. In fact, I want to build my own handbrake. Absolutely wonderful game. Oh, Jimmy's a fan. Have you made videos on this, Jimmy? I've not seen them. Incidentally, Jimmy Daly, one of the world's greatest YouTubers, definitely go check out his channel if you don't know him. But I'm sure you already do. But. uh Career, tire pressure song. Yes, about Stips four or five medium. videos. Four or five videos, cool. It's hard, isn't it? Really demanding. Okay, so I think we've got the G29 set up. Transmission, I'm now going to come out of automatic and go to manual H pattern and clutch. Oh, yeah, baby. Wheel visibility. I do know. I do not know what that means. Handlebar visibility. Okay. Vibration. Yes. Is that force feedback? Perhaps I don't know. It's hard it's if you have the hard. compass indicator turned off. Yeah. Just for info, with my setup, I can't Chromecast your stream at eight one zero p. You can't Chromecast the stream at eight ten p. Ah. Okay. That's frustrating. Is that a limitation as in it won't allow you to even try? Or are there other um, 
other d um, default settings you can use? Or is it completely 810p only and n not happening? Interesting. It is tricky getting a stream set up to run neatly. We're trying. <laughs> Jimmy Daly is now hosting my stream. Thank you, Jimmy. Much appreciated. You have made changes that have not been applied. Apply changes before you leave. I'm pressing... Well, that's weird. Okay, so the G29 sometimes lets me use the wheel to select things on the screen. In fact, I can move up and down. I just can't accept that. So I have to use the keyboard. That's a bit weird. Audio controls, devices, career. Okay. Oh, I can't go back. That's weird. Okay, let's try setting something in here, maybe. Oh, look. Headlights. You've got to set some of this up. How do I set this up? Oh, it's left. I've only got source on at 810 and that's at no other value. At least I can watch on the iPad. You've only got a source of uh, 810. Okay. Okay, interesting. Thank you, uh, Andrew. Uh, I'm going to try and set up um, a test on that. I'll do some research on it at least. Okay, uh, interact, equip shovel. You can actually get out your car in this, which is quite cool. Feedback, oh, here we go, feedback strength, okay. That all looks fine. I, I don't think, I don't think you can use the G29 to navigate through the, um, through the menu properly, which is a bit weird. I'd, I'd put that down as a bug. It's probably a feature, but it's not a good feature. So maybe they should change that, I don't know. I have to jump off soon as my son Val will go live soon. Fortnite champ he is. Yes, he is a Fortnite champ. Okay, Jimmy, no Thumbs problems, up, buddy. Sign. Appreciate you popping in, though. See if we can get some... Uh, continuation here. Oh, what? I can't even select that with the G29. You're joking. Wait, let me use the X button. Can you use the... Ah, so I can use the Xbox 360 controller to do it. But not the G29. It's probably a configuration issue. So, um, how many stages have I done? Did I do stage two I would already? like to see you race before I go. Jimmy, I'm going straight into a race now, buddy. So, first time using a G29. First time using the gears. First time using the uh, clutch. Good luck. My headphones trying to shut off. Good luck, says Jimmy. Thanks, you mate. Steering is amazing with this game. Steering is amazing with this game. Wow, that's interesting, Jimmy. I've heard literally 100% the opposite. <laughs> it's interesting that you think it's good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it more now. Why are you not? Let me do that. That's so irritating. Some actions remain. Repair vehicle. Highlight road book notes. I love using the G29 on this. The G29. <laughs> the G29 on this. Got the truck, guys. Start on sand at cap seven. See, I've already smashed my windscreen. I've rolled it down. On rookie level, so I haven't sustained much damage. Five, four, three, two, one, go! 1k and 200, sand, cap seven. Five. The gears are not working. Let me just try and figure this out. God damn it, I want to be able to use my controller. This is so annoying. 
Right, control, steering sensitivity, steering linearity, throttle acceleration, blah, 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 blah. Career. Hmm, I'm not seeing... Wow, why did that change back? Manual H, pat uh, H pattern and clutch. I think I left everything else the same. Apply. Now, hairpin right to cap 121. Three Ks, cap 121, sand, let's go! The audio's 500, hairpin left, danger two, downhill dune. Hairpin left to cap 343, danger two. This We're moving away from our cap. I can roll it and, uh, it's all good. Something sounds wrong. Do you think I've damaged the, the truck? Do you think it's damaged? Is that what it is? I've also got my head tracking on. Uh, it doesn't look like the game. Five hundred. Go right to cap eighty-five. I can hear somebody on the outside, but I can't say my name. There he goes. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely done by that guy. I can't get up this hill. That's a bit of a problem. Come on, Troy. We can do this. We are a team. Right! Now! To cap 85. Danger 2. Downhill and uphill dunes. Waypoint OK! Three Ks to cap eighty-five. Attention. I was saying I'm on rookie level, so I can literally jump up there. The handbrake on. Jump out. So yeah, for those of you who didn't know, you could get out of the truck and walk around. You can. It's a bit clunky, the mechanic for walking around, and I don't think you can go first person on it. But um, the reason why I picked the truck is A, because um, they're super. Enough clunky. fresh air! Let's eat some dust! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is annoying, by the way. The. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, the. Di the what's his name? What are they called? So? Let's the, keep moving! The director dude, him. The one who keeps talking and won't shut up. He's quite funny. Look at this. So cool. All right. Let's actually get whatever it is fixed fixed. I think maybe the gearbox. How do we do repair? Let's go to. Uh, it's the radiator, isn't it? It'll take three minutes. Gearbox. I think we're okay. Let's just fix it. I am so far ahead of everybody, you wouldn't believe. Because they're all driving safely and I've been rolling this thing. Head over. Head over arse, or arse over tip, whatever you want to say. I've rolled this vehicle in every single direction. Let's get going. See if that noise is still there. Should we just leave it? <laughs> Go without it. Uh, it's just like... One K, danger three over the dunes. Five hundred, danger three over the dunes. I've got a 
say, the, um, the wheel is pretty damn good. It's a lot Attention! Right Danger to, uh, 3! Over the dunes! Cap 82! Yeah, 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 yeah. 2Ks, go straight to Cap 82. 500. Danger 3! Dunes! Attention, Danger 3! Dunes! Straight to Cap 83. Two Ks and 700. Go to Cap 83. Headlights on. 500. Turns to Cap 47. Now, turn to cap 47, dunes. 1K and 400, cap 47. Go straight to cap 64, waypoint OK. We've overtaken that guy. Oh, my audio is too low. Is that, is that better? Attention! 4K is on cap 64. Attention! I've got to say, Jimmy, I agree with you. Continue on cap Driving 64. Driving and handling Attention. on this is feeling really damn good. Much, much better. Good, 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 good. We are definitely struggling to get up here. And something is uh, not right with the truck. <laughs> Come on now. Overtaking again. I've got like a about 11 minute head start or lead on these guys, so I'm not too worried. But they're overtaking me. It really is good, I've got to agree with you, Jimmy. So the, that's the first one I can write off, is people were complaining that the steering was bad, or there was no um, setup configuration available for steering. They've obviously fixed that in a patch. 500, turn to um, cap 105. The latest patch, the one that came out yesterday, was for the, uh, the co-driver who's given me the directions. Previously, he was... Now, um, turn to cap 105. Danger 2, dunes. Incorrect directions, we're going to catch these guys. Attention, continue 4Ks on cap 105. We're not scared of rolling this thing at all. We are totally going to be all over Continue on cap 105. Guys. Attention. There we go, airborne. Oh, oh. Crikey, crikey. We're barely controlling this, I have to say. Come on, chaps. Out of the way, Jesus, wow, coming through. Following other vehicles is definitely not going to win you the game. I think we're I missed moving that away waypoint. from our bearing. I think I missed that waypoint, I must have jumped over it. That's annoying. So, having just caught those guys, I'm now going to have to go back. But that is exactly what the Dakar is all about. It's you've got to hit these GPS locations. Now regardless, adjust to cap 94, go! Regardless of what everybody else is doing, that is your primary focus and uh, they're easy to miss, really easy to miss. Attention, 5Ks on cap 94. People criticise too quickly without giving it a chance, that's why phone boss got so many negative reviews. Well, I agree with you to Two a K. point. Focus on cap 94, um, continue. I didn't have this game at release, so I can't really comment on how good or how bad it was back then. But 500, look out, everybody danger two, downhill kind of complained dunes. and said the same thing. So I rather suspect it was quite bad at release. Because so many people agreed with each other. Um, I do, however, think a lot of people who came to play this game didn't really understand what the Dakar was or 
what they were going to expect to see. Um, and I think a lot of people were kind of expecting Dirt Rally. And Danger that's not, 2, Downhill Dunes. That's Cap not 110. anything like the Dakar in reality. And I think, I mean, I've only played maybe two hours on this so far. And 700. Continue on, Cap 110. But other than a few tiny little niggles and complaints, I've been highly impressed. And I've got to, I've got to agree with Jimmy. The the uh, the handling, the driving on this is with the G29. One K cap one hundred ten. Force feedback. Attention, to do with a vegetation. Bit, bit more tweaking, maybe. Danger two, vegetation. Adjust the cap one hundred one. Why is danger two vegetation? Switch to a low gear. Attention, danger three, uphill dune. Not switching down to first quick enough here, that's for sure. That constant air pressure noise is really distracting me, it's not helping. Come on, truck, get up there. Do you know they actually. Danger three, across the dunes, downhill, danger three, cap 119. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know they actually limit the trucks, otherwise they'd be faster than the cars. Oh, wow, that's downhill. Go neutral. Now, turn left to cap 44. Three Ks and 700. Cap 44. Crikey. <clears throat> Hi, Big Slav. How you doing? One K. Cap 44. Go. 500. Turn left to cap 318. Dunes! Yeah, I agree with both of you there, guys. Firm bus. My, my initial review of Firm bus was, was pretty damning, pretty negative. Um, and that's what encouraged TML to contact me, actually. Um, they appreciated the feedback that I was giving. And like you say, they listened to the now, community. Now, turn to cap 318. Many, Attention, many necessary dunes. changes. Waypoint OK. And Firm bus is still heavily under development. Um, but definitely improving on a weekly, monthly basis. So, um, yeah, I'd agree with that. And sometimes, you know, I've said this before with other games, giving a negative review is a positive thing because it does give the... Sometimes when you're developing a product, you're so One K, deep into you on cap you can't see the bad. It's like, you know that bit's bad, um, but it's been bad for six months and you've kind of got used to it, so it's not as bad as it Danger was when two, you first... Danger 2, Downhill Dunes, cap 329. So when they put a game out, they're like, oh, it's not that bad, but then when everybody else Attention. gets it, they're like, no, no that on cap really 329. Bad. It's unacceptably bad. And it's good feedback for their, the developers, but only if they listen. 2 continue on list. cap 329. Oh, wow. Attention on marks. Can't wait to play this on hardcore. 500. Enter valley between enter the valley. rocks. Attention. Enter valley attention between here, the rocks. Proper Waypoint OK. Coming. Look at this. This is brilliant. 1K. Go carefully. We are definitely overtaking that guy. 500. Hairpin left to track. Danger 2. Hairpin left. OK, maybe we'll slow Now, down. hairpin left. Track. This is good. 500. Tight I'm enjoying right. this Danger so much. Two. Maybe I can't overtake these guys. This bit here looks so realistic to uh, actual Dakar videos I've seen. It's crazy good. Tight right. Hole on the left. Danger two. Come on, man. Let me through. Driving so slowly. Three Ks, follow track. The brakes are much, much better using the G29 than they were using the Xbox 360. It's more um, analog and less digital, but the Xbox 360 is very 1K. much either on or off. One K, go to the dunes, off track. I'm loving this, this is awesome. Let's go around this guy. Now, cap 229, straight to the dunes. Nice. 
Adjust the cap 236. Look at the look at the look at the terrain we're having to deal with here. 4Ks on cap 236. Mr. Gear. That could be because the gearbox is getting smashed about a bit. Oh, there's a low and a high gear on the trucks. I didn't know that. Thanks, Jimmy. 1K, cap 236. And Andrew, yeah, 100% agree with that. Give it the go negative right, it cap needs, 296. But always try and go back and revisit the game uh, and sort of give it now, another one. Now, go right to cap 296. Uphill dunes. This is fantastic. Honestly, guys, if you're, if you're into Dakar, I mean, if you know... If you know the, the big players in Dakar, you know the, the, the companies that are involved, Attention. 5K you understand on cap what Dakar is all about, then I, I highly recommend getting this game. It's, it's, really, it's really good um, in so many areas. The GPS stuff is confusing as hell. And I haven't quite mastered that, and that's the main reason why I'm playing on Rookie. Look at this. Stuck in the mud, look. On uphill, you can switch from high to low gear. I definitely need that feature. Maybe I will have to get the Cytex side panel out. Incidentally, guys, if you look on the left-hand side, I haven't really sort of mentioned anything. I just kind of got stuck in and went for it but on the left hand side um, that is the route that we're taking you can see we're up to uh, 22 at the moment 23 is obviously the next one um, but some of these some of these um, stages are like an hour long the first one was an hour at least 1k cap 296 I can see I'm stuck in high gear there. 500, go left, danger three. <laughs> it, honestly, it wasn't making this shh noise yesterday. Oh, what, you still want me to go up? Danger three, go left to cap 201, downhill dunes. Come on. Faster navigation, please, co pilot. 2Ks and 700. Go on to cap 201. 500. Go right to cap 258. I missed it. I missed the waypoint. Pay attention to the cap heading. Yeah, 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 I know. I was trying to chase that truck down and ended up missing my waypoint, which is very, very annoying. Now I kind of have now, to go back, go drive right over to cap it again, and then do the Undulation. Without good navigation, you'll never win the Dakar. Attention! 10Ks on cap 258. Undulation. See you later, Andrew. Cheers for dropping in, buddy. Check your settings. There's a button that switches from low to high. I think I need to bind that to something on the um, G29. It's a, it's a genuine racing game, unlike any other. You hope they continue updating it. 100% with you on that one, mate. I think there's a DLC coming out soon, isn't there? Did I read that? I might have imagined it. Don't know. 5Ks, cap 258, attention. Andrew Boyle is now hosting. Thanks, Andrew, much appreciated. Enjoy your sandwich, mate. Use the Xbox 360 controller to 1K. Keep on cap 258. Switch between uh, the cameras at the moment. Obviously, I haven't got this set up properly yet, but um, this is definitely my first look, look with the G29. Go straight on cap 271. Cheers, Spence Andrew. On the Much side. appreciated, mate. Go 
Go straight on cap 264 and fence. Sand. 264, incidentally, is the 500 heading June. you want to be on. Danger 3. Danger 3 dunes. We're not scared. Danger 3 dunes. Keep on cap 262. <laughs> 2Ks and 600. Cap 262. 262. Oh, don't hit the trunk. If you hit the other vehicles, Danger you will 3. Get Go over the dunes. Time. Danger 3. Dunes. Cap 263. Is that a vehicle up there? I think it is, and I think 1K he's currently and 800 winning. 1K on cap 263. 500, go left to cap 184, danger 2. So we're right behind first place. Now, go left to cap 184, danger 2, waypoint well. OK. Oh, I've gone too far. Not good, straight up. There we go, there he is. He's in our sights. Cheers, Jimmy. Three Ks on cap 184. H is vital on some tracks. I'll make sure I've got it hooked up for the next uh, for the next stage, mate. Cheers for dropping it, dropping in, Jimmy. 500. Go left to cap 84. Good luck to Val. Now go left to cap 84. Waypoint go, OK. That's the end of the stage. 500. Coming up now. Go right to cap 170. It wants me to go all the way out here first to this last waypoint. Now, so, go right to cap 170. Waypoint OK. Oh my god, we're not going in yet? Oh, it's there, I see. Stop! Danger 2. 700. Final. Go, go! Go, go, go. Where is it? There? No, there. What the hell? Oh, here. Final. Oof. Excellent. Congratulations. We made it. Oh, that was a special. That wasn't a full thing. That was a... That was a mini bit. Cheers, Jimmy. Anyone in chat who doesn't know Jimmy Daly, type in Jimmy Daly to YouTube. Go check out his channel. He's got loads of cool stuff, especially driving games. Um, he is the best simulated driver I think I've ever seen. So definitely go check him out, please, guys. Take it easy, Jimmy. Right, okay, we're going to say continue here. Nice run. <laughs> Cheers, Jimmy. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Hooking up the G29 has just made this game even better than I felt it was yesterday. So this is stage three. Now this could be an hour long, guys. So three Ks in main I'm track. Be Keep attention. Exhausted at the end of it. What I do need to do is, as Jimmy said, sort out my high-low gear settings. So somewhere in here, let's go to controls, shall we? See if we can figure this out. Inlushing by all. Bye, buddy. I don't know what enlushing means. <laughs> blushing. Oh, that blushing. Blushing. Blahooging. Jimmy, you've got to stop drinking this early in the morning, mate. This is not good. <laughs> uh, it's all true, blushing Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy having a few issues with his keyboard there. Um, right, okay, so windshield wipers, yeah, we've got that configured. Headlights, yep. Kilometers scroll down, kilometers scroll up. Oh, that's when you're manually controlling the um, the road map, as it's called in this. Uh, road book, road book, sorry. Uh, and that changes to the next one. Okay, wow. LOL. <laughs> Switch camera. How do I X to rebind? And I want that one. Cool. Okay, that worked. Uh, hand brake. Oh, no, I just unbound everything. That was the wrong button. Uh, can Toggle I undo? High -low. Toggle high-low. Where do you see that? Oh, yes. Good spot. Thanks, Jimmy. Toggle high-low gear. X to rebind, and we're going to put that on. There, I think. Headlights. Oh, okay. This is quite, quite easy. 
so we got this i think we got this same issue uh that i've had in other games where the g29's d-pad and the xbox 360 controller d-pad are being confused or overlaid as the same thing so i can't have the d-pad on the g29 doing different things than the g um than the d-pad on the xbox 360 that seems to be what the issue is because if i try and bind something to that it's not actually working so i've had that problem before i think that's all that is let's put something on the handbrake here that seems like a good idea steer oh actually i've got the high low gear right now you're set now i'm set now i'm set jimmy now i'm set oh jimmy before you go if you've got time how is the stream is it clean or is it a bit stuttery i can leave in peace you can leave in peace you certainly can my friend um reset camera okay we're not too worried about that windshield wipers that should work kilometers i don't think we need to do anything else here i think we're okay also okay. restart game see if sound fixes we start the game and see if the sound fixes. That's not a bad idea. Let's go. Let's go into it. Mm, shall I? I'm, I'm worried if I quit the race now, will it? Stream is perfect. Excellent. Cheers, Jimmy. I'm just worried if I quit now, whether or not it will put that down as a failure to complete a stage. I don't really want that. Also, I need to figure out how to change the windscreen. Truck sound needs game restart, though. Truck sound needs a game restart. Okay. I'm just wondering if I've got something damaged in the truck that's making that noise. Let's try it for a minute and see if it's still there. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three, two, two, one, go! Fixed it. Not doing it now. So yeah, interesting. That must have been a bug. <clears throat> I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's a bug. I don't know it's a bug. It's an assumption, isn't it? I mean, you, you weigh it up. It was doing it before. I haven't fixed the truck or made many changes. I made a few key changes. 500 straight ahead. So maybe it's something to do with that. 500, go left. 500, go left. During 4Ks, keep on a main track. Looks like he's hit some, uh, some boggy ground there. Look. It's gone now, so we're all good. Keep on a main track. Trying. Trying to keep on that main track. I feel I can change camera now. Oh, I can. That's cool. So that little yellow WP that you see up the top there, that indicates literally when I should be turning. So if, the, if, if it says follow the track ahead and the track turns a little bit to the left, then it will turn a little bit to the left and kind of keep going in the right way. So even a complete beginner keep should going be able straight to ahead. Play. Switch to low in Bob, of course, I completely forgot. I completely forgot to switch to low. K's and 500, go left. So yeah, literally anybody can play this game. You don't need to have learned how to read the road book on the right uh, in order to... Now, go left, cap 91. That Two K's and 700, continue on the main track. Co-pilot's pretty good. Uh, that's the latest update. I think I was... 500 at there. the house, right to cap 132. Turn right at the house. 
Now, go right to cap 132, off track. Nice. I love how you just come up, you suddenly turn off the road and just go deep into the unknown, effectively. See you later, Jimmy. Thanks, mate. 500, cap 85, over the dunes. Go. Now, cap 85. Damn it, you're sending me the wrong way there, dude. Nine, nine. nine Whoa, Scotty. Keep How on, doing, cap buddy? 85. Come on, find the gear. I've got to get this windscreen fixed. Bit of road. 5Ks, <laughs> attention, dunes, danger two, cap 85. I can't see a thing. Let's get the windscreen wipers on. Oh, that's much better. Sometimes you forget that um, you're picking up dust and stuff the whole time you're driving. Incidentally, the weather changes in the game, uh, it does go into night time. I haven't experienced either of those things yet, but it all happens, it's all included in the game. I think, based on what I've experienced so far, which is a little bit of car driving and this truck, um, I think the reviews on Steam mostly are incorrect. That's how it feels to me. Dunes, Danger 2, Cap 88, Waypoint, okay. I'm enjoying okay. this for the G29. Feels absolutely 500 brilliant. towards traces track towards traces track on cap 91 yep. 4k go ahead on track oh missed that bit of track it's okay because I found it again come on find the gear Keep on track. I'm trying. There's not much track to look at. Windscreen wipers again. See how much. I, I love how gradually the windscreen gets filthy. It's not an immediate thing. It's very gradual and it's 500 really towards well track. Done. Cap 1 1K. Go right to cap 220. At some point, once I've got the stream running well... Now, go right to cap 220! Three Ks on cap 220. Once I've got the stream running well, I will um, get some cameras hooked up. And uh, you'll be able to see how hard I'm working using the G29 trying to get this beast up the hill. Now, how did I... It's handbrake. What the hell did I bind? Oh, there we go. Low gear. Wow. That's a significant difference right there. 1K, turn to cap 189. Follow traces! Cheers for that heads up, Jimmy. That's made uh, going up dunes a heck of a lot easier. Low gear is incredibly Now, powerful. cap 189. Follow traces! Try it. Kind of all over the place, these traces. 4Ks, go ahead, traces. Wow. I almost want to stay in low gear all the time. Certainly making getting up these dunes a lot easier. Two Ks, stay on traces. The traces for two K. Five hundred. Turn left to cap one hundred twenty six. 
as is expected. Oh, missed it. Turn left to oh. cap 126, off track. Somehow we hit that waypoint. We were way off it though. Five hundred, danger two on vegetation. As is expected. Danger two on vegetation. Cap one hundred thirty. As is expected in Dakar Rally, if you see somebody stuck or broken down or damaged or whatever, on cap 130. you're kind of obliged or expected to stop and help, you know, even if it means you would lose the Dakar that you would otherwise have won. It's just kind of, it's very much a rally where it is you Keep against on the cap elements. 130. Attention. And uh, really the enemy is the the sand dunes and 500 the, turn to cap 92 the rocks and all the dangerous things that you'll encounter now turn about. to cap 92 danger two being faster than everybody else is kind of secondary i guess three k's on they've cap really 92. captured that well in this game i can tell you that feels really good there's the truck. That's the one we've been chasing. You can see on the left how many markers we've still got to go. 500. Turn right to cap 178. Ruins. Now, right to cap 178. Ruins. The gear, the floor. 500. Right to cap 270. We'll catch him in no time now. Now, right to cap 270. What? Three K's and three hundred. Keep on cap two hundred seventy. Must be further ahead than we are. Like that, or he's going the wrong way. Five hundred. Go ahead to cap two hundred fifty-one. Five hundred turn two fifty-one. Okay. Go ahead to cap two hundred fifty-one. Attention, dunes, danger three, cap 249. 5Ks, keep on cap 249. Dangerous dunes, coming up. 2Ks, attention on cap Attention on cap 250. Flat out. 500. Turn what? left to cap 195. Long way from top speed though. Now, turn left to cap 195. Four Ks. Cap 195. It says 195, but if you look at the marker, it's 194 at least. Maybe 193 or 192 by the looks of things. Five hundred. Dunes! Danger two! Maybe that's one Dunes. of the complaints. Danger two! Having. Attention! Cap 212! Danger three, cap 208. At the moment, I'm focusing way too much on that. 500, a cross track, go straight ahead. Go, straight ahead, cap 210. 500, off track, danger two. Now, danger two, cap 192. 3Ks and 700, cap 192. There's an obstruction ahead of us. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, okay, it's a proper checkpoint. That means 1K, attention, speed zone, 30. Sounds like 25 then. 
Now, speed zone 30. So I'm on rookie mode. PC, so... control. Oh, I see. 25 was the entrance. I'm on rookie mode, so it automatically slows me down to... Um... 500. Finish speed zone. Turn left to cap 118. 30 miles an hour, but I think as I <clears throat> work my way up to the harder levels, I'll be expected to do that myself. Finish speed zone. Left to cap 118. Off track. Go! Go! Following the tracks then, for some reason. 500. Turn right to road. Tire. So I see the tire. I'm going to turn right onto the road. Turn right to road. Stay on the road during 6K. See how fast we can get this together. It's 100. That's probably the fastest I've been. 15. 2Ks, go right to off track. 160. Good lord, we are tanking. Now, go right to off track on cap 195. Okay. 1K, Dunes, danger three. There he is. Caught him up. Gonna drop into the low Dunes, gears. Dunes, danger second. three, cap 228. Sideways. As much speed as I can. Oh, a massive stutter. First one I've had. Eight Ks on cap two hundred twenty eight. Two twenty eight. Wow, that's a tricky. That's a tricky cap right there. Two and I'm still. Oh, I am climbing. I thought I was struggling. Look at this, guys. Oh, I can't change camera now. What is going on? For some unknown reason, I cannot change the camera. I can't show you an external view, it won't let me. 5Ks! Attention! Stay on cap 228! Oh, all of my button configuration seems to have broken. I can't swap out of low gear. What's going on? Oh, I know what's happened. Because my Xbox 360 controller is off to the side, um, it's configured so that if I don't touch it for however many seconds, it will turn itself off. So when it turned off, that's what caused the freeze, and that's why none of the buttons were working, because as far as the game is concerned, half of the controllers are actually unplugged. So that's a bit of an issue. I'm probably something I can get around by tweaking and adjusting the settings, but that's going to take a bit of time. So for now, I think, I hope, maybe I can just get back into the game. Resume. Oh wow, that's not. It's not happy. No, that's not happy. I think by that controller switching off midway through, I've kind of broken the game quite a bit. It seems. Um, maybe. 
using the keyboard I can rebind something. Let's just try this. Uh, I didn't make any changes. What are you talking about? Uh, audio controls. You can see it's still set. But if I try and use the Xbox 360 controller now, it's just simply not responding. I just turned it off, turn it back on again, see if that helps. No. So it's disconnected itself from the game and now the game won't allow it to connect again. That's quite a significant issue for those who want to use a G29 to steer with but an Xbox 360 controller to walk around with, which is what I do. That's my default position in pretty much every game I play. So that's 100% not working. Maybe if I go to devices, I'm not even sure I can get to devices now. It just seems to, uh, start configuration wizard. Can you save mid race? Can you save mid race? Honestly, I don't know. Um, don't think you can I think it auto saves your progress so if I quit out midway through then maybe it would just reload at the last checkpoint I was at but I don't know that for sure if that were the case I imagine I'd probably end up at the last time checkpoint <laughs> Axel B24 is now hosting. Thank you so much, Axel. Much appreciated. Let's give that a try, shall we? Let's let's quit out. See, there's a restart option, but there's no save option. So you've got quit race, restart, last waypoint. Last waypoint is a. Uh, See, at the, at the moment, I think I've just broken it irrevocably. Um, with the Xbox 360 controller disconnecting in that way, it's really caused the game an issue, and it doesn't know where it is. It obviously doesn't have um, a, a correct algorithm to deal with that One, once a device is disconnected halfway through. It, it, it's, um, it's failed, and I think I'll probably need to get back to the devs and... Just make them aware of it and see if maybe they can uh, have a look and see if it's something they can fix. But I'm going to quit the race. I'm going to quit the gate. Can I quit the race? Will you let me? Wow, it won't even let me quit the race, guys. It is that broken. Turn the Xbox 360 controller off. Focus has now gone from the game again let's try this a fifth time i just i'm not sure if you can see that on the stream or not but it's it's making this the screen kind of jump around a lot so the enter button no longer <laughs> the enter button no longer does enter the only button that's really working is the escape button. So I think we're going to have to basically smash this into a million bits and uh, try again. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a crack at that. Let's kill this. I have my head tracking running. There doesn't appear to be any head tracking in this game, so I'm going to turn that off. There's no point wasting all the extra, all the extra stuff. And let's see if we can.
try this again, basically. Christ, look at the state of my desktop. Um, right. So that is quite a significant problem. But it's the first significant problem I've experienced in this game. Bearing in mind, if you read the reviews on Steam or look at the reviews um, all over the place, they're, they're pretty damning. They're pretty negative. And um, honestly, I think it's unfounded. Maybe not when it first came out. I'd say it was probably justified then. But now, um, a lot of what I've read about the game doesn't seem to be true. The G29 handling is sublime. Oh, I just realised I'm still in gear. I wonder if still being in gear would have affected pressing the enter button. Trial and error. We'll see what happens if it happens again. So if I turn the Xbox 360 controller on now, I assume the game will pick it up and we'll run with it quite happily. Incidentally, when you start the game, there's this black screen for quite a while. So yeah, that's picked up the Xbox 360 controller. No, it hasn't. No, it, no, it has not. No, it hasn't. What is going on? Press enter to start. Okay, so that's working. The Xbox 360 controller has completely stopped working. I'm going to restart the... Um... Oh, man. I'm going to restart the uh, receiver. <clears throat> oh, we've got all sorts of weird shenanigans going on now. Now nothing's working. Ooh. Oh. It's like a focus thing, but still the Xbox 360 controller, nil point. Absolutely nothing working there. Let me try and restart the uh Restart the Xbox 360 wireless controller dongle. See if that helps. Hopefully you can hear all the beep beep beeps in the background. No, that's not having none of it. None of it. All right, let's kill it again whilst the Xbox 360 controller is on and just see if that fixes the problem. If not, then I'm... I don't know sort of bemused as to what the next step could be, to be honest. Now, the Xbox 360 controller just flashed at me. It's now marking up as it's being controller number one. Uh, the Unreal Engine sign is up. Mouse icon is still on the screen. Everything's looking quite normal at the moment. Let's see if it works. Well, that instantly did something and then my controller started flashing again. I didn't press a button then, by the way. That kind of did it itself. Press A to start, and we're back in. So, it seems like if the Xbox 360 controller is on and configured to be controller 1 before you start the game, then you have no issues. Uh, the issues appear to <sighs> emulate or begin when the Xbox 360 controller 
turns off midway. Now, if there was, I don't know, a switch for your G29, a power switch, and you accidentally turned it off, or you accidentally unplugged the USB, or whatever happens, would the same thing happen? I don't know for sure, is the answer. Um, I don't particularly want to test that out now, but I'm going to raise these questions with the developers and see what they've got to say about it, see if they've experienced the issue, or maybe they can look into it, who knows. Um, let's go into devices a second, and what I'd like to do, what I'd like to do is change which device I can select. Like interact is is A there. So if I press rebind, press X on there, then button one pops up. Okay, that's pretty good. So if we press X and up on the D-pad, it thinks they're the same, so that doesn't make any difference at all. Use shovel is B, cancel action. We're going to add another one in here. We're going to put circle on that. Ask for help. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's definitely... Uh, Oh, it's down on the D-pad, so we'll press that and that'll be fine. Run whilst moving. Yeah, jump is X. Helmet on or off. I didn't know you could do that. Wow, goodness me. Okay, then. So, camera is still set to... Um, oh, is it up here? Oh, it's up here. No, it's not. Change camera thing. Switch camera. That's still set to button 4, which is triangle on the G29. Okay, so that all looks pretty good. Apply. The problem I'm going to have is that... The problem I'm going to have is that... When that controller turns off, and it will, because like each section is like an hour long. So when the Xbox 360 turns off, am I going to run into that same problem again? Um, last night when I was playing, I was only using the Xbox 360 controller. So it wasn't an issue. But I can see it being a significant issue um, as is. Now, if you've got a wired Xbox 360 controller, that's not going to be a problem for you. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way of stopping the Xbox 360 controller from auto turning off. Maybe that's an option. But, um, yeah. All that really needs to happen in my eyes is that the Xbox 360 controller needs to be able to disconnect and connect at leisure. So whenever it feels like. So if I'm playing the game and I'm just about to finish and my battery runs out, I don't want to have this problem, is what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I'm going to raise that with the devs and see what they've got to say about it, really. But let's see what happens when I go continue. Will it restart me at the start, or will it start me from where I left off? I don't know. Quick sip of coffee, guys. Well, interestingly, the select option is not working on the G29, even though I just set it up to do so. Nope, nil point, not working at all. What the heck? Okay, let's have another quick look at that then. Uh, options, controls, go down to interact. It's there. It says it's working. Did the batteries run out? Andrew, no, the batteries didn't run out, but um, I have a wireless Xbox 360 controller. And um, to save battery life, it does turn itself off after, I don't know, three minutes of no use, I guess. Um, and when that happened, it made the game freeze considerably for a good, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds, something like that. And then none of the buttons on the G29 or the Xbox 360 controller were working. Even when I turned the Xbox 360 controller back on and tried to reconnect, nothing was working at all. What I had to, to do sleep. was shut the... Yeah, it went to sleep, effectively, Andrew. Yep, that's exactly right. Um, I had to shut the game down and start it again with the Xbox 360 controller turned on and set to controller one. So it's, it's a bit of a 
significant issue, and I think I'm going to hit that problem again very soon. Um, but it's the only controller I have. So that's going to be a bit of a pain in the backside. Yep, exactly. I've never had it with another game. I've never experienced that. Um, Farm Sim has always been fine. When it disconnects, I just reconnect it and off we go. Um, what other games do I use it in? Fernbus Coach Simulator. The same thing. It disconnects and then I reconnect and up it, up it comes and away we go. I've never had that problem before. And obviously, Fernbus uses Unreal Engine for as well so certainly it's something that the devs can deal with um, but maybe they're just not aware of it no one's told them so but like i said i did have it in gear so i'm wondering if that was maybe counteracting something but we'll see we'll we'll test it out and see how we get on ets2 can be variable what does that mean what do you mean by variable as in, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Of course, in ETS2, you can't get out the truck, um, unfortunately. Uh, but that's all I use the 364 when I'm playing driving games, is when you get out the truck and you want to walk around. It's not so easy to walk around with a steering wheel and controller, um, as it is with a controller. But okay, so anyway, I've set uh, interact and cancel action to work on the G29 and it 100% isn't so we're going to have to use the Xbox 360 controller like to race? start this is engine overheating a thing? Uh, does this game feel like an endurance race 100% yes it does this game is brutal I'm playing on the easiest level and it's exhausting sometimes it comes back and other days I had to quit oh I see Andrew yeah Oh, that's interesting. You're using a wireless Xbox 360 controller and sometimes it comes back and other days you have to quit. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. I've never used the 360 controller with um, for, uh, ETS2, so I've not experienced that. But that is interesting. Cool. Yeah, um, G-Cooks, sorry, uh, to answer your second question. Is engine overheating a thing? Um, I haven't experienced it yet. I'm playing on the rookie level, so I've flipped this thing, I've rolled it, I've smashed the windscreen, I've jumped off 300 foot high dunes and landed on the on the wheels and not broken the suspension. But I think as I work up the ranks and start playing in the hardcore modes, all of that is going to be uh, included. Um, if I go into the game here then I can show you the repair aspect of the game. So um, here we have the briefing. I never look at this. Oh my God, I never look at this. I didn't even know this was a thing. Right, so this is the mechanics element of the game. Uh, so if I just say why repair all, and you can see everything's done. But what we've got here is we've got Radiator, brakes, clutch, gearbox, fuel tank, oil tank, electronic, suspension, transmission, left front tyre, right front tyre, and, well, just the tyres, really. So all, all of that is the extent of the mechanics element. So overheating, technically, probably not, but there is a radiator, so yes, it, it kind of is implemented as well. Uh, certainly the clutch and the gearbox take a, an that absolute hammering. Fab. That looks fab, yeah. It looks pretty good. It's not bad. I think they could expand on it, and I, I hope one day they will. But um, bearing in mind that uh, this is their first crack at anything like this, I think they've actually done a really good job. Uh, I'm really quite impressed. I've heard that the motorbikes are awful. This does look impressive. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I've heard that the motorbikes are absolutely horrendous, but I haven't got... I'm, I'm not comfortable enough with the GPS uh, roadbook system yet. Um, there's no way I'd be able to find my way to a waypoint at the moment. So I just kind of want to play the game, get used to it, get a bit comfortable with the controls and stuff before I start advancing into more complicated things. But my intention is to take this hardcore in a truck and then progress to being hardcore 
on a bike and we'll just see how that goes we'll see if i even get that far so you're supposed to do something with the road book here max allowed to miss is three so you have to hit at least most of these how many are there oh i went all the way around And by the way, uh, I don't know if you know this in the Dakar Rally, but my my belief is of oh, this 63 points, so I have to hit at least 60 of them. Good God. Good God. This is over an hour's driving coming up here. I've got just enough time, I hope. Um, unless the controller turns off, in which case we might have to kill it a bit early, which, is, which would be a shame, but we'll see how we get on. Um... Yeah, so uh, this roadbook is basically a printout piece of paper and they scroll it with their hands. It's just like one very long map. That's basically, it's like a treasure map for kids. And what you can see here is the, the highlighting. Uh, so red indicates danger, green indicates flat out, uh, blue indicates a change of course or some uh relevant information i think um i don't know if you have to use those colors in that combination whether that's part of the uh, instructions from dakar themselves or whether each individual driver slash rider has their own system i don't know but certainly you have to go through and you mark all this stuff so it's easier for you to see but um it's it's a rally unlike any other it really is but I'm not sure what I meant to do. Maybe just flicking through it like that. It auto highlights. I'm not sure. Because I always get moaned at for not doing it. But I don't know how to do it. But maybe I'm just scrolling all the way to the bottom is enough. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What have we got here? God knows. I pressed A and we're off. So, no, you can't save it midway through. We are back at the beginning. Start that is hardcore. Cap seven. Hopefully our controls are working again, though. Low gear. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, go! 1K and 200. Sand. Cap 7. Couldn't find fourth gear. 500. God damn Camping it, now right. we're down back to Dunes. second again. Okay, here we go. Now, hairpin right to cap 121. Hairpin right, okay. Cap 121, sand, let's go! Back into the high gears, we're going to get a bit of speed up down 500. here. 500, hairpin left, danger two, downhill dunes. Hairpin left to cap 343, danger two. We're moving too far away. Going the wrong way. No mod save kills it for me. The most times I play games, I don't have an hour to spend on it. Yeah. Oh, on mid. Yeah, okay, nice correction. Um, well, you know, you say that, but... 500. Honestly, to cap 85. It's, it's that aspect. Oh, now we've got six gears all of a sudden. We didn't have six gears a minute ago. Very odd. Um, it's it's the whole fact that it is an hour's hardcore drive that makes this feel so realistic. It is that is a simulated aspect of the game, and I think they've captured it really well. We're about to get overtaken here at the same spot again as last time. Danger 2, downhill and uphill dunes. Waypoint OK. Sorry, 
So the advantage to Three going kids, first to cap 85. Um, Attention. is beyond me. <laughs> I'll be totally honest with you. If you win, um, if you win one of the stages on Dakar, one K, danger three over the dunes. Then you are five hundred, danger three over the dunes. You are first to go on the next stage. Attention, which means, danger three over the dunes, cap eighty-two. Which means you're doing all the navigating and you're leaving your tracks in the sand for others to, to follow. 82. 500, danger three, dunes. So it's easier for whoever's behind you. Attention, danger three, And uh, a lot more Straight stress and pressure on you. And I, I'm really glad Two that you can actually see your opponent's 83. track marks. I think when I'm playing this on hardcore, I'm definitely going to be utilizing previous drivers tracks in order to figure out where 500. I'm going. Turn to cap 47. So I can almost completely follow this dude. Now turn to cap 47. Dunes. <laughs> All right, co-pilot. Cap 47. Go straight to cap 64. Waypoint okay. We gotta go around this guy, he's far too slow. Jesus, look at these. Attention! Four K's on cap 64. Attention! Come on, high gear. Continue on cap 64. Attention! 500, turn to cap 105. Now, turn to cap 105. 105. Danger 2, dunes. Attention, continue 4Ks on cap 105. Whew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a bit continue of steering on, on the cap controller. 105. Attention. And hopefully that'll keep it awake. See you in a bit, G-Cooks. Uh, Scotty, I mean. <laughs> Damn it, that's the first time I've skipped up on that. Now adjust to cap 94, go! 94, that's about 94 there. Attention, 5Ks on cap 94. Oh, I fixed my windscreen, that's cool. Focus on cap 94, continue. Big shout out to Jimmy for giving me the heads up on 500. the Look high out. low gears. Two. Downhill dunes. Come on now. Danger 2, downhill dunes. Cap 110. He's right there, isn't he? K's and 700. Continue on cap 110. Again, on rookie, um, the opponents are far, far slower. 1K, cap 110. Attention, vegetation. Danger two, vegetation. Adjust the cap 101. 500, attention, danger three, uphill dune. Danger three, across the dunes, downhill. Danger three, cap wow. 119. Now, turn left to cap 44. 24, 24 on that. Three Ks and 700, cap 44. One K, cap forty-four, go. 
500. Turn left to cap 318. Dunes! Damn it. Missed the gear. Now, left. turn to cap 318. Attention, dunes! Waypoint OK. K, continue on cap 318. Bit of steering with the uh, controller so it doesn't turn off. Well, I've just realized this Danger is taking two. me back. Downhill dunes, cap not 329. just to the beginning. Not just to the beginning Attention. of that section. On cap 329. But to the beginning of the mini section that happened before New that case. section. Continue on cap 329. Attention on marks. 500. Because here Enter we are valley. at the canyon again. Attention. Enter valley between oh, the rocks. Crikey. Waypoint OK. 1K. Go carefully. 500. Hairpin left to track. Danger 2. Now, hairpin left, track. 500, tight right, danger two. I'm gonna have to turn the volume of that up. Tight right, hold on the left, danger two. That is a nice bit of track. There. Three Ks, oh, really follow like driving track. This. Cap 236. 236. 4Ks on Cap 236. Yeah, I don't know where he's getting 4K from. Oh, I see it. 4.4K and then turn 296. I see. I'm kind of understanding that now. Right, 1K. this... Cap 236. This is a dev quote in Steam discussion. Go right Each waypoint saves automatically. Unlimited loads on rookie mode. Limited loads on competitor and legend. Edit. Zero loads on legend. You need to run the whole stage. Oh. 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 <laughs> what the buggery buggery happened there then? So why now, isn't that loaded? Right the... Cap 296. Uphill dunes. That's good then, uh, Scotty. That's good for you. Good for me as well, if it had worked. So I wonder then why that didn't... Attention. Five Stone Dogs, no, this is uh, post-release. This, um, this has had a number of patches since release date. And um, I've been discussing throughout the stream today that a lot of the concerns and issues that people have been having or been sort of discussing in Steam. Oh, we hit something there. Um, I'm not seeing those issues. I'm driving with a G29 right now. Feels really good. Really, really good. 1K, cap 296. The only concern or issue or disappointment I have... Go left, danger three. As soon as I hit this waypoint, I'll tell you. Danger is, three. Um, Go left to cap 201. Downhill dunes. Is the lack of head tracking. Two Ks and 700. Go Just on a bit to of cap a disappointment. 201. Looks interesting. Yeah, it's really good. Um, having read the reviews on Steam and such, Go right to cap 258. Now, I really genuinely right to cap 258. didn't Until have a lot of faith in the fact that this was going to be a good game, but actually, I think Attention. it's really cracking. 10 Ks on cap 258. It's captured the Dakar really well. And uh, I haven't even tried it on Legendary yet, so I mean, I'm hitting these dunes at 
far faster a speed than you would get away with in real life. And I'm very much hoping that on Legendary, that's going to be uh, the case. So like now, this is not a sensible way to go over a dune when you don't know what's the other side. Five Ks, cap 258, attention. So I just hit a bit of um, sort of muddy puddle, I suppose you'd call it. Hence why the truck just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> 1k keep on cap 258 see like this is not advisable go straight on cap 271 fence on the left side I'm trying to get the thing airborne but I'm failing to do that sorry go straight on cap 264 and fence sand 500, Dune, Danger 3. I think it looks pretty damn, pretty damn awesome. Danger 3, Dunes, keep on cap 262. Come on, get up there. Two Ks and 600, cap 262. That was definitely airborne. 500, danger three, go over the dunes. Danger three, dunes, there you go, cap look. 263. Now that would smash and 800 on cap 263. the truck, the windscreen, everything. The whole truck would be a complete disaster right now. But because I'm on rookie, that's not the case. I'm hoping um, as I work my way out the difficulty level, that will become more two. realistic. But even on rookie, it's tough. Now, go left to cap 184. Danger two. Waypoint okay. Three Ks on cap 184. Five hundred. Well, go left to cap 84. I can, Stone Dogs. Um, now, go left to cap 84. Wait, uh, 500. Go right forward. to cap 170. Hang on. Hang on a second. Let me just We're try and get the away truck from back our under cap. control. Goodness me. Now, go right to cap 170. Waypoint OK. Danger two, 700, final, go, go! Final, excellent, congratulations! Okay, uh, so Stone Dogs, yeah, I can change the difficulty level, but because I don't understand the, um... I don't know why that still doesn't work. Because I don't fully understand how the road book works, uh, I can't self-navigate. So being on the easy level gives me that little yellow lo little yellow icon at the top, and I'm basically following that the whole way Three through. Three Ks in main track. Keep attention. Without that, I would be completely lost. That's the only reason why I haven't gone up the difficulty level, and I never, ever, ever, ever play a game on rookie. So that alone Five, four, should show you, to three, some degree, two, how one, hard this is. Go. And driving, obviously, is one part of the game, but uh, navigating, I'd say, was probably 90% of the challenge. And I've yet to figure 500, that out. straight ahead. 500, go left. During 4Ks, keep on a main track.
No, too early. See, that, that's part of the problem is I can't figure out... Oh dear. I can't figure out when I'm at... when I've um, covered 4K. Keep on a main track. Luckily, that guy's just hit the same stuff we have. Otherwise, he'd have gone straight past me there. Stay on the main track. really wish head tracking was included in this. I might be able to use um, Ed Tracker, fantastic bit of kit. Um, if you haven't seen my review on that, definitely go check it out. But uh, yeah, I've got an Ed Tracker device here, uh, which Ed Tracker gave to me very kindly. And for situations like this, where you need a controller to control where you look, and because there's no head tracking, the Ed Tracker can actually give you that head tracking ability. You love the terrain, so do I, Andrew. Keep going straight ahead. It really is impressive. It's 22,000 square kilometers of totally open, uh, totally, totally open ground. Now, to Three put that into perspective, go left. when I go to uh, try the motorbike aspect of the game on hardcore, I'll have nobody navigating except me and 22,000 kilometers of completely open space that I can get completely now, lost in. Left. Cap 91. And I have no doubt that I will get lost. Two Ks and 700, continue on the main track. Maybe track IR is in development. Well, maybe, I hope so, it'd be great if it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to at the house, right to cap do some research. Um, it was my first try today to see if now, it worked. go right to cap 132, okay, off right. track. Yep, okay. Five hundred, cap 85, over the but Having head tracking would be great. And if I just pick up the controller and look around, now, I mean, you can see how well 85. detailed it is. But it's not over the top detail, none, none of the dials actually work. So it's not perfect, but, Keep on cap 85. you know, it's it's pretty close. And the only other criticism I have about this is if I have a terrible crash, you'll see that the, the amount these guys lurch forward, in my humble opinion, is not enough. Um, they move a little bit, they move in the right direction, but I think, for example, if I have a, a big smash here, Five Ks, attention, dunes, so it, danger two. It, it looks too 85. gentle to me. I think they should be flung about quite a bit more than they currently are. <clears throat> you think you understand the direction marker finally? Which one, the yellow one at the top? Or, uh, or the real one? Let me just, one second. Let me just tab out and uh, turn that speech up. It's too low. The benefit of having this speech system is that um, when you type something, it will read it to me and I don't have to take my eyes off the road to read it. And that's... <laughs> 110 miles, you go to a heading of 88 degree. In 110 miles. Oh, okay. In 110 kilometers, 110.85 kilometers, I will need a new heading of 88 degrees. Yeah, that makes sense. And looking at the pictures, I'd say we're going to be going over bumpy dunes, which are dangerous to level two. And I think level three is maximum. And DN, I believe, stands for dunes. So yes, between us, Andrew, I think we've dunes. just cracked that. Danger two, cap 88, waypoint okay. Mostly thanks to you, <laughs> I have to say. And the only the only reason I know the other bits is because I've done the tutorial. And it tells you. But the thing is, Watch now this is this is where I'm struggling. 91. This is where I'm struggling is. 
How do you know? Go ahead on track. How do you know when you've traveled 115.94 degrees? And I'm thinking, I don't know if that thing up at the top. So 115.94 at the top there, underneath the uh, navigation system, maybe when that gets to 11594, Two that's K's when I turn. Keep on track. So he's going to say any second. Next to your speed up. 500 towards track. So he's going to say any second now, 11594. No, he didn't say it, did he? So that's not it. Cap 131K, go right to cap 220. Unless, it, se it does seem like that's what's happening, but he's behind. I think maybe that's what's been confusing me, is when we hit 115.94, he didn't then say change direction or whatever. He waited until we were about 116, 117 now, or something. Now, go right to cap 220. And Boyle, how are you doing? Three K's on cap 220. To the left of my speedo. To the left of my speedo. Do you mean down there? Oh, I see. Sorry, on the heads-up display. Oh, okay. One K. Turn Total to cap kilometers. 189. Follow traces. Could be that. Yeah, you're right. Actually, 119.95. Now, cap yeah. 189. Uh, okay. Follow okay. traces. Okay. Okay. I think you've cracked it, Andrew. I think you're right. Four Ks. Go ahead. Traces. So, at 123 kilometers. Oh, that's so interesting. So then... It kind of blows my mind a little bit because... Yep, that's how you know your distance. So, what we're saying here effectively is, you see how I'm driving on the track? Two Ks, stay on traces. If I, for example, went off these tracks, you know, like, you know, I took a shortcut, or I did a bit of a round robin or something, then my total kilometers would still go up, but I'll have added one or two kilometers. Does that make sense? Is that what we think is going to happen? I'm not sure if I explained myself particularly well then. 500, turn left to cap 126. So 123.96, as soon as that goes 124, then we're turning 126 Turn degrees. 126. Got Off you. Track. Okay. So I understand how that works. But then I wonder if... I wonder then... Hmm, is that total kilometres distance from the start point? Or is it distance driven? I think that's the only thing I'm struggling with at the moment. If it's like Danger two on vegetation. miles covered, then getting lost or going the wrong way or having to turn around and go again Danger two on vegetation. is going to add Cap distance, and that's going to make that's going to make it quite tricky. Oh, I don't think so, chaps. No, 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 no. On cap 130. Head a bit off course and see if the route updates. Head a bit off course and see if the route updates. Okay, let's do it. Two Ks. Keep on cap 130. Attention. We're moving away from our bearing. So 129 we're on now. 130. And at 130.53, it's meant to change to the next one. So we've gone past that point. It hasn't updated. So then if I turn around and go back and try and fix the mistake that I've made, we'll see if it stays at 132. 
and then we'll be out of sync with the road map. So it's a good test. Total kilometres is still 133. We're heading to the waypoint. It's 134 now. So we should be on the third waypoint down. So you have to go to the correct point. Now, turn to cap 92. Danger 2. So that could explain then, that could very much well explain why everybody thinks that the co-pilot is out of sync with what's going on. He's not out of sync with what's going on. Oh, hang on, it's gone back to 132. So it's reset itself. I wonder if that only happens on Rookie. Ruins. I wonder if on a harder level it would work now, as right we've sort of just tested there. Ruins. And it only resets itself because we're on Rookie. Right I hope that's the case. But that would explain why so many people are kicking off and saying that the co-pilot is not now, giving the correct right commands at the correct times. Whereas in actual fact they've gone slightly off course and they've added distance. Oh wow, all those tracks just disappeared. That's three a bit K's of a change. Three three hundred. Keep on cap two hundred seventy. I was highlighting how cool that feature was earlier, and and then they just vanished right in front of me, which is a bit disappointing. Five hundred. Go ahead to cap two hundred fifty-one. Hold on. What's that way up top? Go ahead to cap two hundred fifty-one. What's what way up top? The little yellow WP icon. Attention, Dunes. Danger three. Cap 249. 5Ks. Keep on cap 249. There's a distance up top. Yeah, the uh, attention on I cap think the distance up top is a repetition of the one that we're talking about down below. Um, I, as I understand it, that's only visible on rookie mode. So as we go up the rankings, you won't see that at all. So we'll be 100% reliant attention on, cap on either the head-up display or... I don't know where else the kilometers. 500. Turn left to cap 195. Attract. Is it maybe that little red counter in between the wheel there? Now, turn left to cap 195. Gotcha. It's difficult to tell, isn't it? I need to do some more research, I think, on the complexity of the game. The tutorial is good, but Four I did K's. find it to be a little cap bit limited. Um, I mean, all the questions we're asking now were not covered in the tutorial, and that's kind of what's left me a little bit sort of space cadet. -y. That's why, I mean, we, we sort of discussed and figured out uh, all the stuff on the on the right on the roadmap, but how that coincides with the, what Dude, the truck is actually doing, too. still not 100% certain. I think you're close to the idea. Yeah, Dunes, I think we're close, definitely. Attention, cap and like I say, because we're on rookie mode, maybe that's Dunes, resetting three, the counter, which I didn't know it was doing that until just now, so we just tested it. Across track. So Go that would have been ahead. confusing me as well, because one minute the road map and the distance travel Go don't tally, ahead. Cap and then it does. It's a bit confusing. 500, off track, danger two. Maybe I should have just gone for hardcore. <laughs> I don't think so. Now, danger two, cap 192. We're in third place, guys. <clears throat> cap 192. I'm gonna have to actually put my foot down and try and uh, catch these guys up. So you'll see that when okay. we come into this, Attention. it auto slows Speed me down zone. to 30. Mark. And now it's taken over the controls, so I'm not steering or anything now. I'm hoping in the hardcore modes we'll have to do all of that. Obviously you'll get a penalty if you're speeding, you'll get a penalty if you hit somebody. 500, finish speed zone, Maybe turn left to cap 118. You like Fortnite? Andrew, yeah, maybe hardcore to see the difference. I think I might... Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Finish speed zone. Left to cap 118. Off track. Go! Go! 
not paying attention. Turning left. 500. Turn right to road. Tire. Behind the rocks. So we're turning onto the road, round the tire. This is where the game quit out last time. Turn right to road. <coughs> oh, sorry. Stay on the road or six coffee. K. Indeed. Get a dry throat. Leroy's, hello there. Do I like Fortnite? I've got to be honest, no I don't. I'm a PUBG man. I don't think you can play both. I really don't. Unless maybe you're under the age of 18. But I think if you're over 18, you probably pick one or the other. I could be wrong, but me personally, I'm a PUBG man. For good or bad. Now, go right to off track on cap 195. Turning. 1K. Oh, there Two. they are, look. Danger three. Oh, look, they're failing to get up the hill. Let's drop down to the lower gears. Danger three, cap 228. We're gonna go first place right now. Oh, that's a big drop. Attention, oh. eight Ks on cap 228. So my co-driver there was about to tell me not to smash the truck up. Wow, coffee time. But if you guys Attention. go and sort Stay of read some of the Steam reviews and then, you know, watching it now, they don't seem to add up. I agree, there are a few bugs. It was probably worse uh, at release. But right now, if you read the reviews on Steam, you wouldn't touch this with a barge pole. But here I am, sat playing it on a G29. 1K. I'm having a great time. 143. Danger two. And I haven't even got to the hardcore stuff yet, which uh, is going to be way more challenging. And therefore, now, more left. fun. Now, left. Cap 149. 1K. Attention. Step down. Danger two. Step down. Oh, okay. That means it drops and then Danger it drops two. again. Danger two. Step down. Cap 138, Barrow Canyon, waypoint OK. Two Ks and 800, Barrow Canyon. Follow the canyon, use the uh, Xbox 360 Barrow controller canyon. a bit. Oh, look at that rock right in the middle, trying to catch me out. Nearly did as well. Barrow Canyon on cap 232. Two Ks and 300. Follow Canyon. One K. Follow Canyon. Yes, that's Attention. the most recent one. Uh, there's another one today, I think, or yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Follow Canyon on Cap 201. 500. Danger two. It may be the same Canyon. one you're referring to, but yes, there has been one. Attention. Danger two. Follow Canyon on Cap 229. Two Ks. Follow Canyon. Attention. 500. Look at the sea. Beach. Go left to cap 139. Sand. Wonder if you can actually drive in the sea. Should we try it? Should we see what happens. Yeah, you can. That's cool. I I I'd be nervous to go too deep because I think we might get stuck. But. I mean, that's up to the windows. That's deep enough for me. <laughs> Before reach, go left to cap 139. Waypoint, OK. Along the way? Are repairs simulated also? Uh, Nicholas, yes. Uh, the Seven truck K's certainly does get along damaged the along the way. Attention, um, Sam, earlier on the stream, track. I was driving around with a smashed windscreen. Half damaged gearbox, um, 
think the radiator had taken a bit of a pounding. It wasn't Fire in the best cave. state. I'll Attention just quickly show you the. Continue along the beach. So you can stop the truck. You, possibly you don't know this. You can stop the truck in this game if I put the brake on, and you can actually get out. And uh, I haven't shown anybody this, but if there was another vehicle here, we can attach a tow rope from our vehicle to theirs so, and sort of tow them moving. out and, um, you know, help them if they flip the truck or whatever. But if I go to the damage aspect, you can see um, that you no can repair this stuff on the way. Flowers. And uh, the electronics are taking a bit of a beating. Um, the transmission is unrepairable. I didn't I didn't spot that earlier so that's knackered completely um, I'm not sure if that's because I'm now using manual gears and that's referring to automatic transmission or whether or not I've just bust the transmission completely I don't know but we're on rookie anyway and on rookie I think this is a lot more forgiving than it would be and if you look in the top right hand corner I've just noticed this it says radiator leak repair, brakes replacement, clutch replacement, gearbox repair. No, I thought that was a highlighter message. But yeah, uh, Nicholas, it certainly does take damage. And the, the more hardcore level you're on, the more hardcore the whole thing becomes, I imagine. I've got to say, the controls on the character are really quite clunky. Not a fan of that at all. And you can't drive off and leave the guys. He still gets in the truck, no matter how, how many times I try and leave him behind. He always manages to get back in. Quick question, does the water from the sea splash up on the windscreen? Ah, oh, well that's a fail right there, isn't it? The windscreen should be covered in water. Okay, well I, I highly don't recommend this game now because it doesn't have that one feature. Obviously that's a joke. But I would like to see that, truth be told. If you can drive in the sea, it should be splashing water up on the windscreen. Stand. Danger two. Sand! Danger two! Cap 158 along the beach. So I've got a little bit under an hour to complete this. We're we're over halfway through. So there's a chance I will be able to do it. Towards dunes. God, look, I've got to go up that thing. Oh no, I've missed Force the waypoint. Dunes on cap 158. Just Damn. caught it in time. Here we go then. 500, danger three, up and downhill dunes. The power these trucks have is astounding. One thing I haven't noticed, which is, three. which is quite Down odd, Go to um, cap and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but in the Dakar Rally, there, there are a whole bunch of different um, classes, if you will. Uh, motorbikes, I think, are limited to 450 brake horse, something like that. K, the trucks are limited to I don't know, 160, I don't know what they're limited to. But there's lots of limitations and stuff for all the different classes all and all the vehicles sand. to try and keep things competitive. But Three Ks on one of the things track. that I haven't seen in the game yet, might be there and I just haven't seen it, is um, four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive cars. 1K, after the house, go left to off-track on cap 45. Okay, turn left after the house to 45. Now, Drop go left to cap 45. I'm Sand. doing it, dude. I'm doing it. Stop shouting. Um, two Ks on cap 45. Attention. So if you go for a two-wheel drive car, you actually get some benefits. 500. You can have go higher suspension. The car is obviously lighter because you're, you're not running four-wheel drive. Danger three. Uphill dunes on cap 38. But I haven't seen any reference as yet to four-wheel or two-wheel drive settings or controls. Turn to cap 20. Oh god, I missed a gear. So I don't know if that's included in the game or not. I hope it is. We're not going to get up here, are we? Oh, we are. Unbelievably, look at that. 
Or maybe not. <laughs> no, 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 we're so not. So actually this game is not that bad. I saw this game a couple weeks ago in Steam but the reviews were killing it so I didn't even bother touching it. Maybe in the next sales I'm gonna get this. Nicholas, I think that's exactly right. I think um, that's what I've been saying or trying to sort of convey throughout this whole stream. We're moving is, away from our bearings. You know, when it released, I'm sure it was absolutely flipping awful because everybody said it was. But now that... Now that they've had a, a, an opportunity to... My God, this is the hardest one I've driven up. I'm really struggling here, guys. And it's on Rookie. Look at this. They've both failed as well. Good God. Okay. See, now this is going to add kilometres to my kilometre meter and screw up my, uh, my map, essentially. Right, let's have a proper crack at this. Come on, truck. We are so close to getting to the top here. It's not doing my clutch or my gearbox any good, but we are getting up. Now, turn to cap 20 towards antenna. That was hard. No kidding. That was tough. Um, so, Nicholas, yeah, um, I agree that the reviews on Steam are very Left. damning of Follow this game, track. but actually it's pretty flipping good. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't tried the Left. motorbikes yet, Watch I've heard they're the worst Left thing. Cap 352. Um, but in order to play on the motorbikes, I kind of feel like I need to know the game inside and out a bit. Left. That's not to say that those reviews weren't accurate when the game first came out. I just think they're dated now. And if you look at Steam at the moment, you see that seven Ks, follow the, track. the recent reviews... Oh, that's me off the edge. The more recent reviews are actually quite positive. Scotty's going to get it on sale as well. Oh, good. Well, I'm, I'm glad, you know, guys, because... Um, uh, this game was donated to me uh, effectively um, in order to better promote the game and let people see how good it really is um, and I was a little bit sceptical but interested to see and um, yeah I mean that's exactly the result we're looking for I looked at the Steam reviews, I thought this game was dead and buried, I, I thought it was just going to disappear into oblivion. Um, you guys have read the reviews, you have you chose not to purchase the game because, you know, everybody's so negative about it, Three but actually, track. this is a bloody good game, it's a really good game, and for their first attempt, I've got to say, they've done a really good job. Using the Xbox 360 controller to drive, yeah, it's pretty bad. Are quite unfair for the current state 500, of the game go right ahead to track. Seems. And it's such a pity because there aren't many games like this in the market, if there is even another one. Keep going straight. Main Absolutely, track. Nicholas. I couldn't agree more. Um, my hats days. go off to the Stay developers. Uh, this is a really good attempt. Um, I don't know what it was like when it first came out. Let's just agree that it was an One absolute K, pile of trash. Straight ahead on track. Rocks what on they've right done side. since then, if that is the case, absolutely outstanding. I'm having an absolute blast here. This is a real challenge. Keep straight ahead. The only thing I want is head tracking. That's the only thing I want Five more K, than anything else. Continue on main track. Maybe I'd like the, the dials in here to move as well and be animated. You know, if they're going to be in the truck, then make them do something, otherwise get rid of them. I don't think I'd notice if that set of four dials on the left wasn't there, but I certainly notice that they don't do anything, if that makes sense. Maybe that's on the cards, maybe it isn't, I don't know. 
but um, certainly after this little experience I'll be looking to learn more about the game One and the game, future potential or the future um, road map that continue the developers straight ahead have, etc. One K, go right, off track. One K, go right, off track. Got you. Now, go right to off track on cap 61. Waypoint, okay. 61. I'm starting to get used to it a little bit now. The navigation. Kind of know what's expected of me and when. Five Ks, <clears> off track. <throat> Keep on cap 61, towards dunes. I think I'd struggle a hell of a lot if I didn't have a co-pilot with me though. Three Ks towards dunes, cab 61. I certainly don't think I'm ready to go full hardcore 500, on a attention. motorbike. Dunes, danger do it all three. myself. <clears throat> We're not at that point yet. <laughs> Dunes, danger three, attention, cap 62. I'm paying attention. We are with Five K's, awesome cap, cap 62. Way better. Oh, Nicholas, Have you VR. Tried multiplayer yet? VR makes everything better. Have I tried the multiplayer yet? No, I haven't actually. Um, but I am thinking of streaming this again tomorrow. So, Three K's, attention, cap 62. a couple of things. I've been asked to try, um, and you know I can add multiplayer to the list of stuff to try. Certainly, there's also I, I haven't shown you this, um, but there's also a whole bunch of like mini games that you can play, and challenges and stuff. On a recent review, it says skip rookie and learn navigation the hard way. Do you know what? That's probably right, and. Um, in almost every single game I've played in the last 20 years or whatever, Danger that's exactly three. what I've Up done. Downhill dunes. But Cap this one 65. is really daunting. Attention. It's not so much the navigation that's daunting, it's the sheer expanse three of the and landscape Attention to Cap and the 65. lack of landmarks that you can sort of rely on to make sure you don't get lost. I mean, maybe maybe it would be fun for you guys to watch me get lost in the middle of a desert. I don't know. But uh, I just felt like today at least, this really Barrow is the Valley. first time I've played this. Um, today at least, Barrow it made Valley sense. On cap 39. It made sense just to uh, keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid, as they say. But yeah, Nicholas, I agree. VR would make this astounding one one thing it would really do is when you're going over a, a, a dune and you're looking over the edge you'd get a, a real sense of height and distance and Eight danger keep straight through the valley I do love driving through the valleys it's a lot of fun through the valleys as they say in Wales. It looks so good. It really does look like a truck driving through sand dune valleys. It really does. Give you a couple of different camera views, guys. Uphill dunes, danger two. A lot of people don't want to drive first person like I do, so to let you have some external cam stuff. Hairpin right to cap 182. If I can get up the hill, we'll do hairpin right. Goodness for Jimmy Daly and Logie. Now, Logies. hairpin right to cap 182. Waypoint right. okay. Here we go. Four Ks, cap 182. Look at the the view here. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Two Ks, cap 182. Okay. Golden Eagle, how you doing, buddy? Watch out. Nice to see you here. Onward to the valley. Onward to the valley. Waypoint OK. Back into the valley. Do I have a seventh gear? I have no idea. I probably do, you know. Three Ks. Follow Valley. I need to get a new shifter, one with more gears on it. Six is just one K. So Danger two. 90s. On the Valley. Go left. Danger two. On the Valley. Go left. Cap 165. Pretty Three much Ks. lost the truck. Follow there. Valley. Got a bit lucky. If I wasn't on rookie, we may have had an issue then. Oh, looky, looky. There's an opponent. Oh my god. It's not easy Four to steer K's. down here. Get ready for hairpin left. Hairpin left. Maybe I ought to look where I'm going. Pulling away. What's kind of cool is get ready for hairpin left. The the screen that we're looking at is actually filling up with dirt and dust as well. No, hairpin left to count for. fifty. Not sure if it self cleans or not. Go forward. There's to a cap porter potty there. Do you see that? On right side. Wouldn't that be great if you had to like actually stop and have a pee? If <laughs> I mean that's uh, that's really taking Three it to K, the next level, isn't cap it? 46. Having to stop for a sandwich, get your water rations. That would be fantastic. Because obviously, you know, the Dakar rally is not just a test of one K mechanical breaking point, but also here. human. Uh, Scotty, I'd say most of the now, stages are an hour or thereabouts. They do vary. They're not all exactly the same, certainly. Um, but then there's the there are some specials as well, which are really short, like uh, 20, 20 minutes maybe, something like that. Seven Ks. But um, I was halfway through saying earlier, there are also... Oh, it's getting dark, look. There are also some additional mini games. Like Treasure Hunt. Stay on cap 350. Which basically, I think, are a good way to learn how to use the map. So there's some treasure hidden in the desert and you have to go find that waypoint. I think that's kind of like a tutorial, but it's not... It's not... It's not implemented like a tutorial, it's actually like a little mini side game or something. 500, danger two, turn to cap 342. Christ, look at this. Danger two, go to cap 342. 500, cap 356. It's one position we've just taken back. Adjust to cap turn my headlights on. Ah, there we go. Lights on. Danger three. Downhill Look two. Look at this. Some significant driving going on now. Get up there. Go on. Now, right. Danger three. Downhill dune. Cap eighty one. I'll be looking forward to playing this when I have to be a bit more Finish careful. Line. Is that it? Go, We've done it. Woohoo! Final stage completed. Wow. Not easy. Nicholas says. Any recommendations slash tips slash advice for someone getting into it? 
I've You've already, already watched, watched my video. Your video BTW. <clears throat> BTW. <laughs> uh, Nicholas, um, what? Make make sure that your um, PC system exceeds the minimum requirements, because minimum requirements are great on the Oculus Rift. They're really low uh, in comparison to alternatives like the the Vive, for example. But just because you reach the minimums doesn't mean you're going to be able to play every game. That's what I discovered. I had a GTX 970 before my 1080 was installed. And my 970 was brilliant for many, many, many games. But I did have a number of issues with it. <clears throat> some, some games wouldn't play at all. Uh, some games the FPS would be too low and it, it would be uncomfortable or horrible to play. Um, some games kind of worked, but not all the time. Um, and upgrading to a GTX 1080 Ti, a lot of those issues have been uh, eradicated. So probably my my first tip would be make sure you've got a system powerful enough to run it at a very high level. Um, secondly, you're going to need a lot of USB ports, a minimum of um, two USB 3.0 need to be free and it does drain a lot of power from your system so be aware of that as well if you have a lot of devices plugged in you're going to start running into problems I am here I get shutdowns all the time my cameras the uh, reason why I don't have a camera on my stream is because it quite often starts shutting USB devices down left right and centre sometimes I lose a G29 it's, it's a bit of a nightmare so, yeah, just make sure you've got enough USB ports, make sure you've got enough power, and make sure that your PC graphics card and CPU are above the minimum requirements. Um, that would be my advice. You can run it on minimum requirements. The I did. Tracker 4C gives a decent experience, but is very limited in games. The Toby Eye Tracker 4C gives a decent experience, but is very limited in games. Uh, GoldenEye, I've contacted Eye Tracker directly a number of times and ask them if they would provide me with the device, even just a loaner that I can send How back to them afterwards. How would you think there would be any problems with the GTX 1060 with VR? Thanks for your videos and keep up the great work. Do I think there'd be any problems with the GTX 1060 with VR? Thanks for your videos and keep up the great work. Well, Is thank you very much, buddy. Uh, wow, lots of questions. Um, uh, GTX 1060, I think you'll be okay with. Um, for the majority of games, maybe not all VR games, um, but yeah, I think you'll be okay with the GTX 1060. I run my games on a 6GB 1060 and test runs pretty much all games I throw at it. There you go. Andrew just backing that up. Thank you very much, Andrew. Yeah, a 1060 should be fine. I think a 1060, uh, yeah, that's yeah, because that's the next gen stuff, isn't it? So yeah, you should be all right with that. Well, it's not next gen now, is it? It's old gen. The 20, the 20 series, 20, the 2000 series is the new next gen. Um, Scotty, yes, there's weather in the game. There's um, um, night time in the game. Um, there's damage in the game. There's It's it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. And I haven't really experienced most of it, to be fair. Stage completed without penalties. That means we hit every single waypoint. We are first. By a good six minutes. Six GB is fine for VR. They have a custom one for that. Zotac. Zotac. There you go. Cool. 1060 six gig is fine for VR. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think a 960 is the recommended minimum. Great, I was running a 970, much. and that was now, 80 percent fine. I think my PC fine. is good for it. It's a water cooled Ryzen 1800X, one six GB of RAM at 3000 megahertz. An Asus GDX 1080 and an SSD. Plenty of USB ports and an 850W Corsair PSU. Didn't yeah. know of the power drainage. But any tricks you learned the hard way of the whole VR world? The, I tell you, the, tr the biggest trick I learned the hard way was um, I bought uh, a, a, a PCI extension for USB ports because... I was having so many issues with that department. Um, and the the Oculus Rift 
supposedly, quote unquote, won't work with all PCI Express expansion cards. Now, I'm not 100% sure I agree with that, but I bought the one that they said it would work with after buying a different one, which didn't work all the time, installed that and had exactly the same issues, even though I was using their drivers and everything. The, the biggest immediate change that I had was uninstalling the PCI Express drivers completely and letting Windows update their own. That fixed... 90% of my problems and just doing that one trick so I highly recommend if you're going to buy a PCI Express expansion card which is a good idea by the way uh, I highly recommend that you let Windows install its own drivers 1080 requires a 600W so you should be fine on everything else 1080 requires a 600 watt, so you should be fine on everything else there you go I'm, I'm running an 850 uh, myself um, 3.5 4 gigahertz uh, processor and um, yeah, I think my RAM's a bit slower than yours something like 2800 or something like that but I've got 32 gig of RAM so I, I think you'll be absolutely fine there Nicholas, I don't think you're going to have any problems at all um, one other thing I will say is um, the cables on an Oculus Rift are quite long but they're not that long so depending on what your room setup is you know, you might not want them dangling uh, sort of around by your feet. If there's a way of putting them up high, maybe round the back of a bookcase or something and hanging off the top, that helps a lot. But there's a lot of extension cables that don't work or seemingly don't work with the Oculus Rift. Um, I've bought so many different cables trying to get this to work. And on my 970, it failed every single time. HDMI extender usb 3 extender everything i tried failed as soon as i put my 1080 ti in used the same cables now it works fine so there's something going on there i don't really know what it is i'm thinking it's something to do with the power but i'm not 100 percent sure on that it could just be card limited but i don't really know i don't really know what the answer is to that particular issue but if you google uh, extension cables for the Oculus Rift, you're going to see a lot of people with a lot of different systems having different solutions to the same problem. So if you're going to do that, try and find somebody who's got exactly the same graphics card as you and just do what they've done. I game at 1440p, but my 1070Ti struggles to get 60fps sometimes. You game at yeah 1440p, but your 1070Ti struggles to get 60fps sometimes. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Um, for for uh, Oculus Rift to be really smooth and really tight, it needs to be hitting 90 FPS, really. Um, that's what they say. That's what they say. 90 FPS is your, is your target. But I've played some games where it dips below that quite a lot, especially on my uh, 970, is a and that was okay. Technology. You need powered extensions. Yeah. Uh, HDMI, yeah, nah, see, uh, I agree with you, Andrew. That's the, if you ask any professional, anyone who knows what they're talking about, and I don't, um, that is exactly what they'll say. And that's the advice I followed. So I have a powered HDMI extension, which doesn't work. And I have a non-powered, really cheap Amazon special HDMI extension cable, which does work. So go figure. I really don't understand it. But neither of those cables worked with my uh, 970. So it it really is a complicated thing trying to get the extensions to work with an Oculus Rift. It's a bit of a pain in the backside, I've got to say. Anyway, guys, um, I, haven't got, I have certainly have not got enough time to do another uh, stage. But hopefully I've given you a good taster of what LOL. Dakar 18 is all about. And um, certainly some of you have, I think, changed your opinions on, on what the game is all about. Now, I do. I just want to say, and I'll try and address this tomorrow, that the motorbikes in the game are highly regarded as awful, like the worst bit of the game. A lot of those reviews came out very early. I don't know if it's changed. I know there has been an update on the bikes. So we'll have a look at that tomorrow and just see 
if that's an issue it's or not. It's what us text call as a dark art. It's a dark art for sure, yeah. No kidding. Um, so tomorrow, yeah, we'll just we'll look at some other stuff. We'll rank up Can't the you use difficulty. Can port cable? Can you use a display port cable? Uh, mm. Yeah, somebody has said that you can uh, as a solution. Potentially it does work. I don't think I tried it, but I, I don't need to now. I've got a system that works, Thanks for and I'm quite happy with that. I'll catch you next time around. Andrew, thank you for joining me for the stream. I really appreciate it, especially your input and feedback. That means a huge amount, and... Um, just makes the whole experience a lot better not just for me but for everybody i hope um guys hopefully the stream was pretty clean today Thanks, Sim. great to finally catch a live stream what was, what this, was game this game called, game called? Oh, this game is called dakar 18 i think it's currently going to cost you um hopefully i haven't just lost all that uh, progress I've made uh, at the moment I think it costs 44 pounds on steam let me just Looks double check like that. twitch chats falling over I'm talking to myself lol <laughs> looks like your twitch chats falling over I'm talking to myself well awesome. I can still hear you thanks for the feedback mate I'll try to be here for tomorrow's stream brilliant Nicholas I appreciate that thank you uh, guys, thirty nine ninety nine. It is on Steam at the moment. That's not to say you can't find it cheaper elsewhere. I don't work for Steam. I don't get any uh, compensation if you buy it from Steam. But um, I do get a small kickback if you buy the game from CD Keys on the link provided in the description of my YouTube videos, which I can't give to you right now because I don't have it handy. So if you are considering buying it and you want to support us as a channel, you can buy it via that link and we get i don't know maybe two or three pounds off of our next purchase um, which just helps me get more games like this and review them for you and just let you have a good look at them so maybe consider doing that if you want to absolutely um don't mind if you do well i appreciate it if you do but i don't mind if you don't oh god i hate doing that stuff um guys i'm gonna wrap Thumbs it up, up now fine. a little bit early than usual but i tell you what my bum is completely gone numb and um i need to get up and walk around a little bit that was a lot of fun dakar 18 in the truck brilliant on a g29 brilliant i really enjoyed that i can't wait to play again tomorrow hopefully you'll come and join me take care of yourselves guys i'm going to put the holding page up for a bit and then end the stream but thank you all massively appreciate it take care bye now